Welcome to today's show, Selections from Pista Sophia, Chapter 32, Part 2 of 2. Gnosis is a spiritual doctrine associated with early Christianity, whose teachings are thought to have come from the original disciples of Lord Jesus Christ. Vegetarian, Gnostics believe that humans are innately spiritual and have a spark of the divine within. Thus, one can know God directly through insights of the higher self. Gnostic teachings also highlight the temporary nature of earthly life. Understanding this can lead to a natural seeking of higher truth, which is ultimately beyond physical creation. Pistis Sophia, meaning faith wisdom or faith in the light, is a Gnostic scripture of teachings given by Lord Jesus Christ, vegetarian, in the eleven years following his resurrection. Written in approximately the 3rd century, the Pistis Sophia manuscript was rediscovered in Egypt in 1773. In this scripture, Lord Jesus Christ, vegetarian, addresses his disciples regarding different aspects of heaven and the divine. The manuscript also identifies Pistis Sophia as a seeker in human form, symbolizing the soul that is yearning to reconnect with the higher self. In these teachings, Jesus Vegetarian also speaks of the eons, symbolizing lower and higher realms of existence, along with the treasury of light, which represents the attainment of heavenly reunion with the divine. In today's episode, we will continue with more excerpts from Chapter 32 of Pistis Sophia. Chapter 32 the first repentance of Sophia. Hear me, O light, for thy grace is precious, and look down upon me according to the great mercy of thy light. Turn not thy face from me, for I am exceedingly tormented. Haste thee, hearken unto me, and save my power. Save me because of the rulers who hate me, for thou know my sore oppression and my torment and the torment of my power which they have taken from me. They who have set me in all this evil are before thee. Deal with them according to thy good pleasure. My power looked forth from the midst of the chaos and from the midst of the darkness, and I waited for my pair, that he should come and fight for me, and he came not, and I looked that he should come and lend me power, and I found him not. And when I sought the light, they gave me darkness. And when I sought my power, they gave me matter. Now, therefore, O light of lights, may the darkness and the matter which the emanations of self-willed have brought upon me be unto them for a snare, and may they be ensnared therein, and recompense them, and may they be made to stumble and not come into the region of their self-willed. May thy judgment lay hold upon them. Let them not henceforth come into their region to their God self-willed, and let not his emanations henceforth come into their regions. For their God is impious and self-willed, and he thought that he had done this evil of himself, not knowing that, had I not been brought low according to thy command, he would not have had any authority over me. But when thou had by thy command brought me low, they pursued me the more, and their emanations added pain to my humiliation, and they have taken light power from me and fallen again to pressing me sore, in order to take away all the light in me. Because of this in which they have set me, let them not ascend to the thirteenth aeon, the region of righteousness. But let them not be reckoned in the lot of those who purify themselves and the light. And let them not be reckoned with those who will quickly repent, that they may quickly receive mysteries in the light. For they have taken my light from me, and my power has begun to cease in me, and I am destitute of my light. Now, therefore, O light, 
which is in thee and is with me. I sing praises to thy name, O light, in glory. May my song of praise please thee, O light, as an excellent mystery, which leads to the gates of the light, which they who shall repent will utter, and the light of which will purify them. Now, therefore, let all matters rejoice. Seek ye all the light, that the power of the stars which is in you may live. For the light has heard the matters, nor will it leave any without having purified them. Let the souls in the matters praise the Lord of all eons, and let the matters and all that is in them praise Him. For God shall save their soul from all matters, and a city shall be prepared in the light, and all the souls who are saved will dwell in that city and will inherit it. And the soul of them who shall receive mysteries will abide in that region, and they who have received mysteries in its name will abide therein. For more information, please visit the Gnosis Archive at gnosis.org.